So far in 2024, not only has every Canadian had a chance to see the Northern Lights, every American has as well. We've had a few G4 storms and that is incredibly rare to have multiple in the same year. So why is this happening and can we expect it to continue? Well, let's first look at what a G4 storm does. The amount of particles interacting with the magnetic uh, field in uh, the atmosphere around Earth, well, that is what has been driving these Northern Lights as far south as the central U.S. So uh, this all has to do with the storms going on on the sun. The solar cycle is about 11 years and it has to do with the amount of sunspots on the sun. It's an area where temperatures are a little colder thanks to an enhanced magnetic field. And every now and then you get an, a mass ejection and that's those little horseshoes that shoot out from the sun. And that is the wave of particles that if Earth intercepts, that is when we get a G4 or even a G5 storm. So can we expect this to continue? Well, heading into the next year or year and a half, that is the peak of this current solar cycle. So we're off to a good start. But how does this shape up compared to past events? Well, this was the highest monthly max since September 2001. But look at that cycle from 2009 to 2019. It wasn't very impressive at all. In fact, it was the weakest cycle since the 1800s, right at the beginning. And over the last 100 years, if you're old enough to remember, 1957 was the all-time max over the last century. So hopefully, if you haven't seen them yet, you'll have many opportunities to come in the remainder of 2024 and 2025.